What's going on everybody? So um, I'm sitting here in a tractor because you know since I was younger as a kid you know with my visual impairment I couldn't drive right you know and I was always like oh I, you know I wish I could drive I wish I could drive and you know it's kind of like one of those things where you as a visually impaired person you want to drive you want to drive or, you know and you just you feel like you have the vision you know you feel like you can use your little bit of vision you have to drive but you know it's not safe for the world and um, you know recently we moved to a, a large home and we have a tractor now and I've been driving it around and I want to talk about my experience driving as a visually impaired person so I guess you know there's certain things that you don't think about right like when sighted people you know, for those of you who are, to who are completely sighted and drive, you need to not take driving for granted. Because, you know, as a visually impaired person, I take public transportation and, you know, I have this tractor. I'm like, man, I wish I could drive this tractor from one destination to another and do what I got to do without having to take, you know, public transportation. That would be awesome. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where we start off wanting to drive and then once we learn how to drive once you know we figured out we're like oh this is this is interesting this is fun but i can see how it can fall into a routine for those who are totally sighted you know because it becomes a tool and a tool that they're like oh i want a blue car i want a red car you know what it doesn't matter the color of the car it's a tool it's not a toy and driving this tractor you know i feel like i can see how it becomes a routine you know for the sighted now um you know when i was learning i'm like okay there's a lot of things that uh, you know when you first start learning you can't just go on the road right so i can imagine that's how kids you know who are sighted and are 15 and they grab a car for this first time there is a nervousness there is a nervousness that goes on with um the first time you're driving you know you feel like Holy moly, you know, I actually, I, I'm, I'm inside of a machine. I am in control of a machine. And it doesn't come to you until, for example, like, uh, you know, here in the area, I'm cutting the grass or I, I'm, I'm pulling sand. And I'm like, I'm actually driving a machine. And it's more responsibility than you think because, you know, having a 1,500 pound machine is, is incredible. It's a tool that you could use for different things. And... You know, you feel like, you, you feel for the safety of others. When you start talking about driving, you know, it's different talking about it than doing it, which is my experience with the whole thing. I was like, no way, you know. Um, I was, I, I, you know, I was talking about it until when I got on it. I'm like, it's completely different than what I thought it was. I thought it was like those, you know, uh, race car things where you have to kind of fight with the wheel to get it straight. No, it's actually, uh, it's easier to drive a vehicle in real life than it is in a video game so if you've ever driven in a video game it, it nothing like it you know uh, the most thing is you know like the brake and stop but when you go forward and backwards for example you have you have a, a you know a, a like a in different cars it's, it's, a, it's like a switch like a something you grab onto and you pull it you know uh, neutral or forward or back and it has different positions parking and you don't learn that, you, you really don't think about that. Decided people, they just do it. you never seen it explained to you, right? And, um, you know, I was intimidated by the fact of the of all that goes behind the driving. And now I know, now I know what goes on. And when you're driving, um, you know, and you have to align, you have to align like the wheel where you're going to. So a lot of driving, it, it can become first nature for those who've been driving for years. But at first, you kind of have to think about where you're angling the wheel. Um, so, you know, perhaps if, if you want to park, if you if you want to go, uh, for example, on a straight line, you have to constantly be careful because if you're not, you know, uh, keeping attention to where the wheel is, then you might curve a little bit to the right or curve a little bit to the left. And I, it becomes, now that I realize it, it becomes like, um, something that is in the subconscious of the brain so you're not consciously thinking about it after 30 or 40 drives you know that you've driven 30 40 times you're like okay this is 
I get it, you know, but when you first start off, you're so conscious on where you're putting the wheel because you don't want to crash into anything. And that, that's kind of the problem I had. So now I actually go through narrow locations, like so, um, have uh, some stables behind me and I actually go between the stables that is almost the exact length of the, tr of the uh, tractor. I go through it and um, it, it basically just becomes, you know, something normal. Like I start driving straight and I know what straight is. My brain's naturally doing it. Um, so that's that part of, you know, the steering and stuff. There is the, the part of seeing. So I wouldn't recommend uh, driving outside of, for example, a private location if you know if your vision is not accurate for for seeing because you know we might not see at a distance like a lot of the time i notice when i go fast my vision without my glasses is um 20 is 2200 and with it's 2040 2050 and um you know i've had this 2040 vision for a while now and i've gotten used to it but at the beginning you know, it's, it's not the same as decided where they could see 2040, you know, with their complete eye. I see 2040 from like the size of a quarter. So it's different. So I have to, I have to actually uh, aim my binocular where I want to see, you know, so that I can turn there. So my driving is slow. I would not be able to go on the road. And, you know, you would not be able to go on the road, even with, I think, with full glasses because you still have a delay and your reflex are not the same. So that's one thing I've noticed now my biggest intimidation of all with driving is gas putting gas and I always think about this like okay when I have a sighted girlfriend not to put gas in her car okay you know why is so, that so intimidating and then now that I've been putting gas in this uh, uh, you know tractor I'm like okay this isn't bad what, what was my fear I'm so stupid you know, it was my fear about putting gas. Um, and it's it's just something that people may not talk about, you know, because they're embarrassed about it. You know, how many of you, comment down below, how many of you have been intimidated by putting gas in a car? You know, those of you who are totally blind and visually impaired, and you're like, how do I put the gas in for, you know, uh, uh, you know, for, for my sighted peers? You know, if I have to give, I'm not just going to give the money and have them put gas in, especially if it's, a, if, if it's, if it's a woman, you know, you gotta, you know, the part is that the natural thing is that, you know, the man goes and puts the gas. So it's like, okay, how, you know, how do I conquer that fear? Okay, camera battery died. Oh, well, so, you know, I conquered my fear by putting gas on this tractor, right? Um, you should conquer your fear if you have one by, you know, asking, you know, uh, anyone around you who has a car, hey, can I put, can you teach me how to put gas in your car? And, and let them teach you, you know, because that'll get rid of the intimidation. We cannot let the intimidation for putting gas uh, hold us back because what if, you know, even you, you, even if your, your spouse is uh, visually impaired or totally blind, they don't drive, you know, what if we can have kids? You know, what if you need to, you know, put gas in your kid's car? You know, what, what if then, you know? Uh, and then you have nobody to teach you unless you get like an O&M instructor or something. So you want to uh, to get rid of that intimidation like I did with the tractor. And it's just the way it goes. So, you know, I, I honestly just want to um, go ahead and I'm going to drive around and I'm going to film it. Uh, you know, I, I've been cutting grass and stuff with it. And it's to the point where all I got to tell you is if you have if you want to drive get yourself a golf a golf cart go go somewhere where you can drive in a in a private land and um you know just get that out of your system like i did and now it's like cool you know i can drive this tractor so all right i'm gonna drive around and uh let's get some b-roll of me driving just for the sake of it and uh a little announcement for those of you who are sighted do not take driving as a right it is not a right it is a privilege driving is a privilege and is a tool that lets you get from point a to point b it is not a right because i see that a lot of people are like i want a, a blue car with uh, red rims and why 
yes, I understand, and yes, you have the right to, to, to like whatever car you want, but you also have to think about the fact that a vehicle is a sense of transportation. Not just that it looks nice, not just, you know, yeah, you want it to look nice, but you don't, there's things that, you know, I see that people just take for granted and, and make it look like it's, like, like it's a right, and it's not. It's a privilege. Um, you know, certain people, you know, don't realize this until they get their license taken away for whatever reason. I just want to let you guys know, those of you who are sighted, you know, think about those of us who can't drive. Think about how you can drive and go wherever you want at whatever time you want without having to depend on anybody except your car and the gas that's in your car. You know what I mean? So think about it that way. Um, I'm gonna drive around now. Let's uh, let's go get some B-roll and um, get some shots of me driving. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe. You know what to do. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.